friends. Okay, so today's video, I'm going to be talking about the enrollment process of the scapular. So I did a video a couple weeks ago and I did a video on the scapular and I left out kind of an important piece of the puzzle of the scapula. So this is kind of important. Um, the hard thing about YouTube is you can't go back and like re-edit it or do anything like that. So I'm just going to do a whole nother video on the enrollment process because it is kind of important. I want to say thank you to all you who have reminded me about this and um, I do write down notes and all of that but I totally forgot about that and it was too late by the time I did remember. So I'm just going to do a whole nother video on the enrollment process plus you guys had so many questions about the scapular, which is awesome. It means that you guys are really interested in learning more about the faith and just different devotionals and stuff. So that's really good for me to know. So I'm going to answer a lot of the questions that you guys had asked me at the end. So I'm going to talk about the enrollment process first because a lot of people did say quite quite a few things on um, my comments. Some of them were very accurate and some of them were not. And that's kind of the hard part about the Catholic faith sometimes is it's almost like telephone where you hear something and you, um, you think that is what you're supposed to do because you heard it once when that person who told you might not have known accurately what the Catholic Church teaches or, you know, what the different devotionals do mean and all of that. So I'm just gonna get into that, like how do you enroll? Because you do have to be enrolled with the scapular, which means, pretty much what that means is you need to have a priest kind of enroll you. It used to be where you have to, you had to be from the Carmelite order, and now they made it where any priest can enroll you. So that is really cool. You can just go up to your parish priest and you know maybe after everybody leaves, or you can call him and ask him to enroll you in the scapular. And pretty much you need to be present with him um, to be enrolled, and he'll do this prayer. Uh, you can definitely Google it and it's a beautiful prayer of course all prayers are beautiful and he'll say a prayer over you and from that moment on all you you don't have to get a scapular blessed okay so let me kind of jump into these I have a lot of notes so please bear with me <laughs> okay so let me tell you exactly what mother Mary said to st. Simon stock when she told him about um, the enrollment or the brown scapular. This shall be a privilege for you and all Carmelites that anyone dying in this habit shall not suffer eternal fire. So it was originally for just the Carmelite order. So if they wore their habit, that meant that they would go to heaven eventually. So what happened was um, the church kind of extended it to all the lay people so everybody can actually be a part of the Carmelites pretty much. So and that is like I said before where the wool comes in is because that is the Carmelite order and the reason it is wool and you you need it to be wool is it kind of will rub on you I know a lot of people said but it's so uncomfortable I don't like it you know and that's on purpose actually it is to kind of agitate you a little bit because it's mortification um, to remind you okay you know offer it up and say okay God like this is for you kind of remind you to be outside of yourself and to you know be connected to heaven and not your earthly body so just a little bit about that so that is what Mary said okay and this is really cool it says it is especially in times of temptation that we need the powerful intercession of God's mother the evil spirit is utterly powerless when the wearer of the scapular faces temptation calling upon the holy virgin the holy virgin in the silent devotion okay so satan is powerless when we call upon mary and we're wearing the scapular that is amazing okay so pretty much to be enrolled into the scapular there are three things that you need to to do 
and that is number one have a priest enroll you and they you most priests I'm guessing know how to do that if not you can google it I will leave a link down below as a matter of fact and you can print it out and bring it to them if you want to okay so these are the conditions of wearing the scapular that you need to kind of abide by and they're kind of big ones so this is kind of why I needed to redo this video um, so wear the the brown scapular constantly people asked um, is it okay to take it off at certain times you need to continually be wearing the scapular um, it needs to be wool and it's okay if there's no pictures on it um, but there sometimes you'll see scapulars sold and there's like plastic around it it can't have any plastic and if there is just you can actually just cut it right out the plastic part and have wool okay the second one is you need to observe chastity according to one state of life so whether you're single or married which if you're married you still need to be chaste and what that means is you can't lust after your spouse like it's a gift of love and you it, it, read theology of the body it's amazing it talks all about that it's so beautiful and so good and holy um you know coming together in a married way is a very holy thing and so you don't want it to be something that's not holy but there is a, a way to do it and not do it anyway that's a whole nother video but read theology of the body if you want to know but it's just we're not supposed to use each other's bodies for our own pleasure it is all about love loving the other person okay the third one is you and this is kind of a big one too is there okay there's let's see one two three four five different things that you can choose out of um these that you have to do daily so the first one is recite the little office of the blessed virgin mary it's called i don't know what that is i've never seen it but i will link it down below if you want to check it out um, or so observe the fast fast of the church together with abstaining from meat on Wednesday and Saturday okay so abstaining from meat Wednesday and Saturdays so either read from that book or abstain from meat Wednesday and Saturdays or with permission of the priest say five decades of the rosary so pretty much pray a rosary is the other one so you could pray a rosary every day or with permission of a priest substitute some other good work so those are the things you have to do one of those it says or so um so that's something you could talk to your priest about like what what you want to do if if you want to choose you know substituting some other good work so pretty much the church the reason why these things are important is because they're really ultimately supposed to be feeding our soul and helping our soul get to heaven you know it's not just like mary says okay just wear these and now boom you're in heaven ultimately her goal is to get all of us to heaven and to teach us about god and bring us closer to god and so that's why they have these things is to help us like the rosary definitely helps people get to get closer to god and to grow closer to heaven so all of these little things so the so those are the three things so you have to wear it constantly you have to remain chaste whether you're married or not married and you need to do one of those um, certain prayers and stuff so um, I will leave in a link down below that tells you all of this if you're like what you know but um but this is kind of a big deal. And I got such a response from the scapular. So many people wanting to know more about it, the different colors, all of that. I'm gonna do a whole nother video on the different colors because there are different colors. There's green, red, white. There's a whole bunch of different ones and they all have different meanings. So um, I love the Catholic Church because there are so many devotionals, so many things that we can grow close to God here on earth 
And that is what devotional is all about, growing closer to God. God created us out of love. He wants us to be in union with him. And so the Catholic Church wants to provide all these, and I mean, Mary obviously came up with this devotion, but we wanna encourage these devotions that will bring you closer to God. So this isn't necessarily like a shortcut to heaven. This is a way of Mary helping you to get to heaven. Her way of saying, I will take your hand, I will lead you to the path, you know, and she will protect you from Satan. She will guard you from him, you know, wrap you in her mantle and protect you. You know, when my children are afraid in the middle of the night, they come running to me and I just wrap my arms around them and they feel so much better and safe. And that's exactly what it is. In this world, Satan is constantly battling us, wanting our soul, wanting us not to be in union with God. And so Mother Mary's the opposite. She wants you to know how loved you are, how much you mean to God, so much that he gave his only son for you. Like that is, I mean, you have to stop and think about that. That is huge. God Almighty loves you so much. If you are the only one on the planet, he would have did that for you. Like that's how much you're worth. And so that is what the scapular, the miraculous medal, wearing that, the rosary, all these things are to point you to heaven, are to get you to God. Um, and that is ultimately our goal. The world is saying that riches is, that power, that you know, all of these different things will fulfill you. They are not going to fulfill you. You will always be searching and searching until you find Christ. That is where your soul will be content and you will be delighted in your life when you give yourself fully and completely to God. So this is not a shortcut. This is just a way to enhance your relationship with God. And I mean, heaven is huge. We all want to get to heaven. That should be our ultimate goal more than anything in this world. Nothing in this world will last forever. Heaven is the only thing that will last forever. And heaven ultimately is being in union with God and all the angels and saints in heaven. And that is a beautiful, beautiful place to go, a beautiful goal that we should all be searching for. So anyway, so that is the scapular. And I hope that that helped you, that it answered a lot of your questions. Um, I'm so pumped that you guys really want to learn more about the Catholic faith and devotions. And I am all about devotions. I love that my mom taught me so much about the devotions because they really did help me want to get to God, get closer to God and stuff. And I hope and pray that it does the same for you guys. So anyway, until next time, I will see you all later. God bless. Bye.